www.newtoboss.com. Ty's back, and we've got another video. I'm starting off with a new video series on uh, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro to be specific, CS6 for the version. Um, we've uh, had a tutorial about Adobe Audition uh, CS6 way back, I mean days back. So if you want to learn how to edit audio, you might want to go back to the list of videos that we have, and you can check that out in there. Because sometimes you would need to specifically edit an audio first or an audio file before trying to load that to Premiere. Maybe you're trying to work on voiceovers and trying to overlay that to Premiere. But right now, again, we're starting off with a Premiere tutorial series, and this time, uh, converting videos first. What I'd like to show you today is uh, on how you can convert an MOV file right here into an MP4 file. Again, convert an MOV into an MP4 container. Uh, let me open up Adobe Premiere right here. Uh, the reason why you'd want to convert uh, an MOV file, probably you're going to use that or play that to a specific device. Right now, we're going to think of that this MOV file, you're going to convert that for an Android device. Again, for an Android device. So, uh, sometimes the, the, the content, I mean, the, the codecs installed on an Android can not actually play all uh, the, f the file extensions that there is. And generically, MP4 files are uh, contained on generic codecs. So what you'd want to do first is convert that so you can play that to your players. But with Android, yeah, you can play that and also you can download uh, a lot of players in there on, on the Google Play Store. But right now, again, the resolution, what we're going to use is for an Android device. What you want to do first is um, open up Premiere and click New Project. And here, let's say uh, MP4. Uh, let's say Nexus. You don't want to use this for a Nexus. Uh, click on OK. Then you go for uh, well Nexus devices. You might want to do full HD on that, but uh, right now the video file that I have is actually limited to only 720p or secondary HD, so I can't blow that up because it's going to somehow add some pixels in there. So what I just would want to do stick first with is a 720p secondary video. So here it's always dependent on uh, the frame rate that you have but with Adobe Premiere, I mean not Adobe but uh, yeah Premiere CS6 uh, it's going to help you out in converting that trying to detect the file type. So what you want to do first is try to uh, steady that to 24. Uh, most common cameras uh, right now taking videos generically they run on 24 frames 24.93 if I'm not mistaken something like that so you might want to stick on that part first but if you did use that on high frame uh, frame rates then you might want to use 50 it's dependent on the video file that you have. So if you'd want to check that, go back to the file that we have on the desktop right here. Right click over that. Go to properties. Let me make it uh, smaller so you can see that on center. Uh, bring it about, uh, down back again. Sorry. Right click. Go to properties right here. Go to details. You know, something that says uh, uh, here frame 1280, 720. And it's uh, running on 23, I'm uh, sorry, 29 frames per second, frame rate. So what you'd want to do is uh, try to, again, let me show something to you here. Go back to details, and right here, got something that says frame rate. So it's using 29 frames per second when you recorded the video. Again, remember that now it's on 29 frames, but here, to show you the function of Adobe Premiere, I'm going to use 24. All right. Again, it's the original file has 29 frames, but I'm going to use 24 for now. And just 
put a name right here, sequence name, this is going to be your output name or your video file name. After it's been converted to MP4, it's going to say how to convert to a, oh sorry, not to AVI, but to MP4. How to convert to MP4 dot MP4. Alright, it's going to look like that or whatever file name you add in there. So sequence name is basically your file name. So again, 24. Uh, file name right here, click on OK. It's going to give you your workspace in here. One second, let me. It's going to booting up slow. Oh, yeah, because I'm using Camtasia. Not much memory. All right, so there you go. So, what you want to do is um, do use your timeline here. Again, this is for beginners, so I'm going to explain a little bit. This is going to be your preview and then it's going to be your timeline if you've had experiences with doing videos on some other softwares like Windows Movie Maker um, I'm not pretty sure what others but uh, it's just gonna be the same it's gonna have a timeline it's gonna have a preview uh, space right in here you got your effects you got your browser in here and everything uh, one thing with Premiere you don't have to work on media browser if you click on here it's gonna ask you to navigate through to the file that you'd want to use right but you don't want to do that to save time just go to your folder I'm using Windows 8 by the way uh, go to your folder go to desktop and remember the file right here let me play that first for you not gonna load I'm gonna play There you go. Let me just forward that. Uh, let me just one second. Uh, stop it. Oop. There you go. Uh, that video file that we have in there, it's uh, a part file of the unboxing video that we created. It's uh, it's sort of like an outtake. But we're just going to cut that off so we could speed up the tutorial. So what you're going to do with this again? Don't use the media browser anymore. It's uh, it's really going to take time. Just do navigate to the file, click, hold, drag, drop right here. Again, it says video one, audio one. It's going to divide that into two. If you would notice, video one, you got video, audio one, you got audio. If you release that in there, again, remember this is 29 frames, the one that we're dropping to a 24 uh, frames per second workspace. If you drop it here, take a look at here. Mismatch. That means that uh, here the clip does not match the sequence this setting. Uh, it's not matched because, it, as I mentioned earlier, it's using 29. So you try to use 24, All right? So if you say change the sequence settings, it would automatically do that for you, match that up. So you don't have to worry much about setting that up on the first part, right? So again, just do say always check, and it's going to help you out. Click on change sequence settings and it's going to load that in there. Let's go straight. This is going to be your uh, zooming in and zooming out uh, slider. So you could go up until the end and here blow up a little bit so you could do cut. So again, let's play that. If you're going to play, you just have to press on a space bar. There you go, it's going to play now. Alright, so we're going to cut that off again. Just a little bit of a part so we could convert that really fast. So what you do to cut, you got tools right here. If you don't have that in there, you got you'd be getting that in here. But if you don't get the same workspace that I have, go to window, go to workspace, and go to say editing right here. Alright, so that's about that. And or you could do editing right here and you you're gonna have that in there. Same layout that I'm looking at right now. Okay, so what you're going to do, we're just going to use the cut tool right here. Uh, razor, click on that, or C on your keyboard, cut it. V, or Victor, on your keyboard, right here you got your point or selection tool. Click on that here, on this part, it's going to highlight, press delete on your keyboard, and you remove that. Then here, maybe you would want to start on this part. Uh, let me make that a little bit bigger. C again, and... V to remove like that. You would see your seconder here. This is going to be your count. Uh, it's right now at six seconds. So play it before uh, converting. 
you also might want to make it a little bit larger for previews so you would see everything. Like that, and bring it back again. Play it. If you don't want to re uh, remove the audio, maybe you'd want to just have a video in there. I'm just going to remove the audio so we could convert that fast, okay? Click on the timeline, I mean on the element, right click over that. Got something that says unlink. Again, unlink. Click on that. It's going to release the bond between the video and the audio. Click on that. See that it's not going to highlight everything. It's just going to highlight the video now. And here it's just going to highlight the audio. So what you do, highlight the audio, delete. There you go. Let's make it a little bit uh, shorter again. Cut again so we could uh, make that really quick. If you notice right here, this is going to be your uh, starting point and your end point. Uh, sometimes when you're editing, it's like that. Sometimes if you don't move that like that, you might, uh, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, you, you're going to see elements here, all right? So you, you would want to extend that to the right so you can delete some parts here that you don't need. So again, from here, yellow to yellow, that's going to be your start and end. All right, so we're ready to export the file. So what you'd want to do, go to file right here, go to export, go to media. Again, you could also do Control M, click on that, and it's going to give you export settings right here. This is going to be your click on source. You could click on that, and remember, this is your source. You don't see any borders right now, but this would be your output. All right, verify that this is your source, but this is not how it would look like. It would look like this on the output. Try to forward uh, here so you can see everything. But again, you got the black uh, borders right there because it's using AVI. So what you want to do? Oop! Uh, one second. Let me just charge my computer. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah. So what you want to do? Go to Format right here. Go down to something that says uh, MPEG4. Again, you're gonna change that to MP4. All right. Then. Oh, sorry, not to MP4, but for uh, an Android device. What's I thinking? Go to something that says H.264 right here. Again, uh, format H.264. Then it's going to do a little bit of a something, and it's on widescreen already. You don't have the black. Go back to source. Go back to output. It's going to look the same. You got something that says preset. Here, you got a lot of options. You, s you could choose from... Android phone and tablet. Uh, remember, you have to match the resolution of your phone or your device right here. You got 480, you got QHD, you got you, you got everything in there. So what you want to do is look that up. Something that says, uh, again, we can't use 1080. We can, but we, we should not be using 1080 because we're just using 720. All right, so if it's for a tablet, you could use this. If it's going to be for a phone, you could use all these right here. So again, let's stick to Android tablet 720p, 29.97. That's for the uh, frames. Yeah, it's uh, running at 29 frames, but basically it's uh, 29.97, close to 30. So select that. You got uh, export video, and also you got export audio. But we did remove the audio, so just uncheck that. Oh, sorry. Um, no, don't uncheck that anymore because we don't have the audio. But if you do, it's going to release that in custom because you made changes. All right, so with uh, 1280, 720, just check on that. Frame rate, 29.97. Aspect ratio. You got all in there because you've selected that. You don't have to mine all of these anymore. Again, just do work on format go to preset that's about it just check this check that then got something that says export right here click on export and it's gonna render that into an mp4 file right there all right so we're done converting that so what you'd want to do is locate the file go to desktop you got something that says how to convert to mp4 mp4 click on that see if it's playing this was the title again yeah, you don't have audio, right? So it's actually playing, and it's working good. 
All right, so that's about it. Uh, if you want to learn more about Adobe Audition, I mean, not Audition, but Premiere Pro CS6, do check out our channel, www.youtube.com slash nudaworks, and do visit our website, www.nudaboss.com. Yeah, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.